We're here on the northeast side of Indianapolis, Lawrence Township. It is an absolutely beautiful day. And today our target is a first time for Jefferson Electric. It's a combination of skill sets and it's solar on top of the billboard. The city of Lawrence required that for this structure to be approved by the city planning commission, it was gonna to have to have some improved optics as well. And the solar panels are gonna get that done. So here's the PV system coming down off the roof, mm -hmm. lands on a breaker. We are going to put the Envoy, which is the communication device, and the PV system on the same 2 pole 15. And I'll, I'll, I'm actually going to do a little something to combine them here in the panel. So let me actually terminate okay. that. All right, good. Um, I was thinking if it's PV coming from the system, it has to go to the inverter first, don't it? Well, it's a micro inverter. Oh, so, so that's four micros up there. Yeah, changing up there. The, the, that's right. Okay. okay. Comes down as AC rather gotcha. than DC. Okay. Yeah, instead of an optimizer, it's just. A, that's it. Okay. And so here's the IQ Envoy terminal block. This is it right here. That device is going to go down here in a J box. In and J -box. so. So is it pretty small, or how big of a J box we got? Yeah, let's grab close. our stuff out here in a second. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do is exit the bottom of the panel with liquid tight. Mm -hmm. Since the pole is round, everything's pretty much got to be in liquid tight when you're going horizontally. So exit the bottom just like this one did. Liquid tight will set a mini. Um, we've got the magnetic drill press over there and this battery to operate it. Uh, so it, yeah, it's three quarter inch steel. It's beefy. I was uh, it, yeah. We're going to drill it and tap it. Um, and then we'll set the J box right here where the envoy will go. Then we'll put the disconnect for solar and label it as such right above that J box. And then we'll do liquid tight probably right here and then EMT the whole way up. And we'll go just straight up and then the solar array will be literally mounted directly above me right here on those big vertical posts. So basically what we want you to do today is all the electrical to at least three quarter way up the pole, plus wire poles and terminations. And we'll take care of everything on top. So that's your gig. Let's pull out the parts. We'll kind of lay it out. I'll okay. get my stuff out of your way so you can move yeah. freely. We've got the existing disconnects here. I'm going to call them E for existing. Okay. You're going to come out of the bottom here that's with your conduit. Yep. We're gonna come into a J box is gonna house the, I'm gonna call it end phase, the envoy there. We'll come out of that into our new disconnect. That's a, a solar disconnect, but it has AC in it, not DC. Because of the micro inverters, right? Okay. Yep, yeah, okay. we'll PV AC. And then you probably LB out of the side here. Let's, let's make that a little bit more robust of an LB. Liquid tight, and then you'll go north an EMT on the existing strut. Okay. We'll put a mini 12 inches, 12 inches. Um, so we'll let you use, that magnetic drill press is gonna be busy mounting your, yeah, I mean, you're gonna need two, four, six holes down here. And it takes a minute or two. And we're gonna need a bunch of holes up top. We've got a magnetic drill press. This baby is sweet. There's so many tools in the trade that sometimes it's uh, far in between. So I've, I've used this thing probably three times. One really sweet project. It was an old factory. Man, I'll show you some pictures of that thing. It was an old factory that was converted into a single family, a luxury single family dwelling. Absolutely gorgeous. Local of a uh, owner of a apartment building. Uh, not just building, but multifamily developer, multi-state, multifamily developer. And man, <laughs> the whole roof structure was steel beams. And so I spent two days in the air with a magnetic drill press, just drilling mounting holes in the steel structure for the solar array we put on his house. It was, that was a fun project. System we found that works best is the magnetic drill press through this three quarter inch steel. Plenty of wax, real, real low pressure, low speed. And then again, real low pressure, low torque, um, low speed on the drill. We chuck it up and that provides, uh, I put more wax in the hole. We just try to keep our cutting implements 
clean and just go like as slow and easy as possible. Bruce, if it starts to bog down, just back it up. Let that burr get cleared out of there because that's gonna that's gonna jam and increase pressure. And uh, we may only have one or two of these, so we can't snap. Yeah. Just real slow. You can feel the pressure start to build. And the more you do, the more sense you'll get for it. We're almost there, get that out of there. And here's the scoop. We don't even have to tap the whole thing because we could just use a little 3 8 quarter 20. So that's far enough. That is it. We're tapping, right? We're tapping. I think that's it. We're all, it looks like we're all the way through. So this is a half inch and a three quarter inch knockout, but we need a one inch for our liquid tight. So we're gonna knock this out and then I'm gonna use this one inch knockout manually. And get, yeah, so we just gotta always keep in mind that this is a live panel. So um, you gotta know what to touch and what not to touch and you'll be fine. <laughs> This is a Klein tool knockout punch set with a wrench. Has your different sizes that you need to knock out if you have to make a hole and they don't have the spot for them. Like say you have to come to the side up here. So this is a one inch. So you have to make a hole or drill a hole first to be able to use it. But then you can use this and go bigger. So the wire will come through here. Normally, um, it's PV wire. We're not doing PV wire um, because of micro instead of optimizers. So it'll go through here. It's just watertight rubber. Keep any moisture and out of there. And this will just pop back in here. We are installing these Evervolt panels, which are 410 watts apiece. All right, it's time to drill. Let's do it. There's gonna be a vertical um, four inch schedule 40 mechanical pipe that's gonna be secured to this 10 inch I beam. And the vertical orientation is gonna catch a cross member that's gonna shoot across the top. And then all four mods are gonna secure to that cross member. That's an engineered solution. The structure was evaluated. The design that we presented was evaluated and uh, we've got an engineer's stamp on this so it's time to build we're an hour behind schedule because of that dang stupid 40 foot lift that should have been a 60 or 70. that's all my bad you guys i didn't do my homework bips installing the top cap that top cap is going to support our horizontal post that the solar structure is gonna sit on. It's, it's beautiful up here. Partly sunny, sustained breeze, 74 degrees probably. If it's hot or it's cold where you are, you can just be jealous, okay? Okay, I think this goes on top and I think this has got to go on bottom somehow. But then maybe that doesn't seem right because this needs to be on the pipe. And gland fitting. <laughs> Did we set it down with the gland fitting? Here, let me just uh, pull this up for you. We need, uh, we've got, we need three sets of these. Confirm that. Yeah, there it is. I see it. Top, top piece on the left. That's what I'm looking for. So that goes there. Holds the pipe. That's why that's cut out. U bolt in there. Uh, just go in for a placeholder. Make sure everything. All right, then this, the mod is gonna sit right up to here. Is it? Yeah. We're gonna make it. One more time. Ah. Woo. 
Everybody's tied off. All right, three, two, one, vertical. All right, let me put my gloves back on, one sec. I personally liked this a little better because of the weight. All right, up. Good. All right, pull it up. You guys have a clear place to land it? Like all the way down there is clear? Just leave it there, Vip. Push it to the side. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. There's a little, there in Nainer's perfect. Did you see what the charge on it was? 66 a bit ago. 59, I think we're gonna make it. We're done with the drill press, right? No, it's quite. But we are getting close. All right, how's this for our plan? We finalize the plan, we take a quick bite, we keep going. And then these clamps are a little bit different, but they U-bolt right there. There's an under piece, an over piece. And then the ends are the ones that are a little bit different. We got plenty of hardware of all kinds. That's what we're building. I think we're about two hours from having that done. And then it's just wiring and inverters and commissioning. So it's one o'clock now. Take it to 3.30, four o'clock. We're pushing six, but maybe not past that. It'd be nice to have two more, three beam clamps total for that. So that's on me. Bro, bro, bro. It's almost 9 p.m., but I forgot to tell you, <laughs> it's lunch break. Uh, stick around for part two and subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money. <laughs>